Hi, it's Kim from Chatterbox Quilts. Today I wanted to share one of my recent vintage sewing machine purchases with you. This machine is a Singer 128. Now, I already have a 128, so really wasn't in the market for one, but you know me, I love the gaudy colors. I love the decals when they're all brightly colored like it is on this machine, so that's what caught my eye. I was actually at Heritage Park. They have an antique and collectibles sale every year, and I'd never been before, but I went because, you know, I love that type of thing. And guess what? They had sewing machines. Now, I did not see this machine at first. There was a couple of treadles. They were in great shape, but they were interesting to look at. And as they pulled me in further to look at the next machine and the next machine, guess what? I saw this one. So I went, oh my gosh, I know what this is. This is a Singer 128. And the decal style that you see on here is called Vencedora. So I had seen these before in different places, but the decals were not nearly in this good a shape. So when I saw this, I was very excited. And then I was afraid that it was going to be quite expensive, but actually it was quite reasonable. And it's portable, as you can see, it came in a very nice bentwood case. This particular machine uses a knee lever to operate it. So you have to have that knee bar and it was in the case too. It also came with a box of attachments, um, more attachments that would normally have come with this machine. So I suspect that they had gathered a bunch of bits and pieces together and put them in the box. But anyway, that's great. So I do have other feet that I can use with it. And I have some other attachments that will work with other vintage machines I own. So I was very excited to get this machine. I haven't done any cleaning on it or anything yet. So this is as is when I bought it. So I'll give you a closer look. You can see the nice um, grapevine decals, details I should say, on the uh, faceplate and on the back cover as well. It's got the light, that works, everything works on it. I did check that out. But it's just so pretty, I, I just couldn't pass it up. So home I came with another sewing machine. Now the interesting thing about this particular machine is that some people, when they see ones like this with this uh, style of decals on it, think that it's a Singer 66 Red Eye or Redhead uh, model, but it's not. And you can tell the difference. First off, this one is a shuttle. The 128 is always a shuttle machine. The 66 typically has a bobbin in it. Also, you'll notice that the harp space is quite different in them. In the 66, it has a very large harp shape here. The 128 is smaller. It's about a three quarter size machine. So that's a big difference. And of course, there is a difference in the decals that you'll see on them. They do have the same colors. They're gold, red, green, but there is a different style to them. So when you look closer, you will notice that. I think the most deceiving part when you're looking at them, and I have to look just to make sure I'm showing you the right area, is the decals on the front here. It's the same on the back, but these ones here are what are very reminiscent of the red eye model to me, but it is definitely a totally different machine. So if you're ever looking at them, take a closer look. It's got the bigger harp space if it's a bobbin and the decals look a bit different from this, then it's probably a 66 or red eye edition. Um, also, this part will be different in it as well. So you have to look kind of closely, but there is definitely a difference. But I was very happy when I purchased my Singer 128 with the Vencedora decals.